The stars at night are big and bright. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas. Garrison Brothers. Single Barrel. Today on the Butcher's Block. <laughs> Howdy partners, I'm Butcher Texas Ranger here on the Butcher's Block and we are reviewing Garrison Brothers Single Barrel Bourbon. Uh, I'm very excited, uh, especially because I was learning about their distillery and let me share with you um, their story, the Garrison Brothers, um, they are the first legal Texas bourbon distillery. In 2013, my understanding is that Texas state law said that distilleries could uh, distill and sell their whiskey to visitors. And I don't know if that means distribution, but I guess it does because here's a bottle and uh, folks could buy the whiskey and distill it and, and, and from the distillery uh, legally in 2013. So fairly recently. One interesting story about Garrison Brothers is their first batch of their bourbon, and I got this from their website, was the barrels apparently could not stand up to the Texas heat. Uh, I'm imagining they have a rick of some sort, a rick house, and they were looking at 130 degrees, and all the barrels from their first batch just cracked. Uh, cracked, expanded, just lost tons of bourbon. I don't know if it was literal tons, but it was a lot. And uh, Dan uh, Garrison worked with a cooperage to build barrels for them to get them stuff that would withstand the Texas heat. And uh, they did it. And they were able to get this bourbon out. And uh, they've got quite a few variants. Um, one thing I want to bring up about uh, Garrison Brothers is if you look on their website, and I'll put a link to it, but their website has a ton of awards that they've gotten. And mostly they are for the Balmoria. I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly at all, but the Balmoria has won a lot of awards recently in the last couple of years. This single barrel in 2020 won silver at the San Francisco World Spirits competition. It did not give a subdirectory that I could tell. And honestly, I don't know what silver means with it. When they have gold, double gold and double silver, I don't Silver must be good. Um, I like this silver. This is really nice. Um, so I wanted to call out that, that these folks are winning some awards. That's pretty much all I could tell from their story from their website. Um, MSRP on this is $109.99. Uh, as far as I can tell online, they charge about $109.99, $110 at the distillery. Um, I paid nothing for this. Uh, a friend of mine gave this to me as a gift and uh, said I need to appreciate some good Texas bourbon. So thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm here to review it. And I'm really excited about it. A little bit about the mash bill. This is 74% white Texas grown corn, 15% red wheat, and 11% Canadian malted barley as far as I can tell online. Um... For those keeping score at home, this was bottled and distilled and barreled 1-2018. It is barrel 11135, and this is bottle 84 out of 162. This is aged three years in oak. I like their little literature here. Uh, Dan Garrison is the founder. Come break bourbon with us. Uh, the website has a lot of good literature on, uh, you know, serving suggestions. Keep it out of the Texas heat. And, uh, you know, really just talking about the craft and what they've put together here. Um, I do want to call out a little uh, excerpt they have here um, engraved on their barrels. So it's not printed, even though they do say that this is cooked, distilled, excuse me, cooked, distilled, barreled, and bottled by Gareth's Garrison Brothers Distillery in High, Texas, H-Y-E, Texas, USA. But on the back here, they have a nice little thing and it says, good bourbon can change the world. And brother, you are 100% right about that. And I'm looking forward to having a sip of this and we can change the world together. I love this bottle. I'll talk about that because wow, wow, this is a great bottle. Let's taste it and find out and see what we think. Um, let me struggle with this and see how we do. 
Oh, oh. Garrison Brothers. Look at that. Oh, what? Very nice. Let's get to tasting. we're back okay here we go are you ready four stars four stars wow okay the nose let's get into it the nose first of all this is 94 proof i didn't mention that before but this is 94 proof and um here's what i think about the nose uh all i got was sweetness and sweet corn notes caramel corn with this brown sugar mixed with a little bit of like like that aroma of toasted marshmallow on the back end with like but the, the corn forward sweetness um a little bit of honey like a honey flavor but this is just pure dripping oozing sweetness 94 proof it's low proof relatively so there's no burn no burn in the aroma none it was just pure sweetness, that toasted caramel corn sweetness coming through in the nose. I gave a full star. It's a really good nose. And of course, the nose is a promise of that first hit of the taste, which is the primal. And I gave this a full star. Spice is muted but it's almost like it's incorporated well into a very sweet, but not overly sweet dessert. Uh, I wrote down bread pudding. Um, I got nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla, caramel, but enjoyable, very enjoyable. The fruit, I, I got a hint of banana, uh, but I didn't get anything overly like bright or tart. Like you'd see like a cherry or a peach or something, nothing like that. It's that subtle spice and that sweetness. And it really just came through. The, the primal really delivered on the aroma. So we're at two stars. The tail, I gave a full star. I might come down to a half. Um, it's good. It stays around and it's sweet. There's no extra added dimension. And I would chalk that up to low proof. In fact, I think I am gonna take it down a half. I don't have bad things to say about the finish. It's just, it's good. It just kind of just drops off. That's it. There's nothing extravagant or extraneous about it. It's just, it's good. It just is there and it goes away. So three and a half stars will do. So two and a half stars so far, but I'm gonna give a full star to the trimmings. And here's why. Look at this wax. Look at this wax. Look at this writing on this barrel, this literature, and also the story. Texas's first legal bourbon distillery. And folks, I'm going to give a half star to that wild star, wild card star. 
So we will bring it up to four and we'll keep it at four. But this is a cool story. It's a cool bottle. It's not a cool price. I'll admit that. It's not a cool price. This is $109. You're going to spend some money for this. However, this is damn good. And you know what? They're right. Good bourbon can change the world. This is something very amazing and special from Texas. And I love it. I love their story. I love their distillery. I love their bottle. Their whiskey is damn fine. Now, I will say I have seen half bottles that are more reasonably priced in stores. I'd love to try their cowboy bourbon, but that's an investment. I'd love to try their Balmoria. And I know I'm pronouncing it wrong probably, but I'd love to try some of their other offerings. Um, they've got a honey whiskey. They've got some really interesting stuff. Uh, that said, four stars, not bad. And the flavor, whew, love this. Mm. I urge you to try this. It's not going to be available everywhere, but do your best. Uh, tip your bartenders. Take care of them. Don't mess with Texas. If you're in Texas, tip your bartenders up. See if they got a pour of this. Have some. Enjoy it. Catch me on Instagram, Ben Richards BB. Let me know what you think of this. Um, I don't know how many folks have had the small batch, but I'd love to hear your opinions because, man, this is all day sweet. And I really like it. And it's not that, like, it's not overly spicy. It's not overly sweet. It's just sublime. So I really like it. And thank you again to my friend who gifted me this bottle. I really appreciate it. This was a gift that keeps on giving. And hey, take care. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. I'd love to go to the distillery sometime and try this. Food grade number one white corn variety, by the way, for those keeping score at home. From farms in South Texas. I, I gotta say... If you've got a surplus of corn and this is what you're making with it, please keep doing what you're doing.